having earned just five for his starter last year, Mark wants to redeem himself with a contemporary spin on bubble and squeak, a dish popular in the 50s when the Queen came to the throne. Last year for me, really hard. Didn't go off to a great start, especially with the starter, so, you know, that, that makes this course even more important for me. He adds cabbage, potatoes and ham hock to a pan, which he'll combine and shape into a croquette. I'm guessing your bubble and squeak's not quite what I'm thinking. It's, it's just a great dish of leftovers, isn't it? And I think it gives me the chance to really show what chefs do now and, and how far we've come in the last, you know, 60 years. Yeah. Mark Freudenland works in the heart of one of London's most exclusive neighbourhoods as head chef at Marcus Waring's restaurant at the luxurious Barclay Hotel. Pork, duck, medium, lamb, annulotti, two pomp For the last three years, he's retained two Michelin stars for Marcus, which made exiting the competition at the first hurdle last year hard to take. I'll be absolutely devastated if I had to go home on the Thursday again. I've got something to prove this year. It's now or never. So if he's 14, please. Having supported Mark through his first attempt, fiancé and fellow chef Shauna knows just how much the competition means to him. Last year was, was really tough. You know, he was very deflated, obviously, not to have gotten through, but he's, I think he's going to come back fighting, which is the main thing. Mark looked at the current trend in street food for inspiration. As part of the menu this year, I really wanted to show the, the dramatic change in food culture. So from right, right back at the beginning of the, the Queen's reign to today, where we've got fantastic chefs working in, in a great environment. Together with Shauna, he visited a stall at London's Piccadilly Market, famed for the leftovers dish. We're interested in the bubble and squeak. So what we've got here is the ham hock, and this is the veggie bubble, and this is the classic. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Flavor's awesome. Really good textures. If you get it right, I think it would be an awesome starter. And then it's just the, the garnish that you've got to get right with it. Yeah. If you get through, we should have this at our wedding.